All right, good afternoon, my people. Um, first, let me sympathize with the family of Justina and Uwa. Um, it's so sad that this is happening at this point in time. But what it is is what it is. I pray that um, their soul will rest in peace. These are our children, these are our daughters, these are our future hope, these are people that we look up to. But it's rather unfortunate that this is happening. But we will not allow this to pass. Governor Sonwolu of Lagos State, you have just lost a child. Governor Sonwolu of Lagos State, you are the governor of this state. And a child of 16 years old has just been murdered by your police officers, shooting stray bullets. It is rather unfortunate that somebody like you who calls yourself a governor will sit down in your state house and you could not even say a word, a word of consolation, a word of sympathy. You people will come on your Instagram page and post all sorts of updates. We have released 49 business COVID patients. We have done this. We have done that. We are constructing road. We are doing this. Are you not a father? Is that not your child? Assume it was your own wife that lost a child, a 16-year-old girl. The state house will be filled with all sorts of politicians and people sympathizing with you and all of that now. Abba! Don't you people have conscience? Governor Baseki, what in the worry you? You will be say we even think so your feet get small blood inside your vein. You say blank eye. Not before Billy then rape girl, mother and cold blood for church. What you do? What you talk? Commissioner of police, you sleep? See what's in the happen all over the world. One person died, the whole world stand for him. If person stand to talk for Nigeria, who now go say some political people don't give him money, may they can't talk against your government. Why are you people like this? Why are you people so insensitive? Why can't you people behave like fathers that you are? When I not be my own papa, I can't call people like you father. I will feel call you bro. They are bro self now. The last thing I see self respect where I feel dash you now. What is wrong with you people? Why have you people become so insensitive? Why are you just money conscious and not, 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 nothing? This is heart of wickedness that anybody can say. I don't go on our Instagram page. I've checked your status update. I've checked your post. Nothing to call for justice. Nothing to even show that you are aware that anything is happening. Or you people will tell us that you didn't hear, you don't know. Who know the, who know the social media among all of Funa? If Funa know the Una eight, the Una wife day, I wonder the kind of women that sleep beside you. What betide you? What betide you from my mouth? You people cannot prick your husband's conscience. You are mothers. What if it was your own child? I can't blame any one of you. I've, I've spent how many years, I've never heard the, the child or a daughter or son of a politician drive and exile from the slum to grace. What have you people contributed to our society now to come govern us, ruin us and leave? This is it now. In America, one person died. Everybody is speaking for Black Lives Matter. Donald Trump was held responsible for not saying anything. Injustice, in human sensitivity. And you people sit down here, you can learn. A 16-year-old child, a 16-year-old and a 23-year-old, what have they done? What have they done to deserve that? If the president is coming to Nigeria now, all of you, you will deploy police, stand by, well-dressed. Where are these police officers? Even the ones that are on the street are drunkards. The ones that are on the street are doing nothing but taking bribe. Yet, there is no reformation of the police system. Yet, nothing is happening. This is shame. Nothing but shame. You people should cover your hands. Use your hands to cover your face. That you lost children, yet you cannot open your mouth to talk. You cannot show common sympathy, Governor Sonwolu. You stand on the podium there every day. Update on COVID business. Update on COVID patients. Yet, just one girl, 16-year-old Justina, has been murdered. And you cannot say a word. Where did you sell your conscience? What did you do with it? Are you not a father? Don't you have children? It's shameful that these are the kind of people who are our leaders. It is shameful that these are the kind of people who will show the highest level of humility, promises, when they want to come into power. You come into power, the only thing that you look into is the finance books. You have been doing road construction in all the states for only God knows how many years. Now is the world is talking about sympathy and justice, and you people cannot say anything. Even your wives can't open their mouth to say anything. 
They can't even mourn. They can't show sympathy. I wonder who bought your conscience. You better look for it and buy it back. Because we have gotten to the stage where this is not an issue of revolution. This is an issue of we will continue to speak. When we see you, we will continue to tell you the truth regardless and we don't care the kind of power that you have. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. We do not care. Our lives matters to us. Our safety matters to us. Our children matters to us. Justice is what we need. Bring these people out. What have you done to them? What are they? What have you? How far have you gone? How can a child, a girl, a, a hundred year, a hundred level student be murdered, raped, and murdered in a church? And you are keeping quiet about Seki. And you are keeping quiet, Commissioner of Police. This is not fair. If you people do not know that it's not fair because you have no conscience, we are telling you, looking into your eyes and telling you, this is not fair. Show some love. Show some sympathy. We are blacks. Why are we behaving like this? There should be justice for Uwa. And we are calling for justice for Justina. If we do not receive justice, you people will not have peace. Take it whichever way you want to take it. We'll continue to pray and we'll continue to speak and we'll continue to seek for justice. Don't forget, we are in the generation of the fearless. And this is a call for we Nigerians to learn to stand for ourselves now. Let us all come together. We are all the same. Let us support each other. Let us lend our voices. You tout that are being used for political businesses this is the time these are the times we need you to come out to speak not for violence for peace and calling for justice please we nigerians look at the way the people in diaspora are standing for each other we are not different let us be fearless these people can't do us nothing we are no longer in the age of we here these are the things that we are seeing i saw the cold blood in the in, in the church room myself Everything is clear now. So why are we keeping quiet? Who are we scared of? One person, one people with power and guns or world. They have conscience. Let us prick their conscience and let them begin to know that this is the right age when people should show sympathy and love and let's rule this country and bring Nigeria to a, a, a passionate home and country. It's not all about economic value. It's not all about money. Money is not everything. Money cannot bring Justina back. Money can bring Uwa back. So why are you people so money conscious? Why do you have to come to your page just to discuss anything that has to do with money, money, money updates? Why are you not talking of the brutality in the land? Does shedding blood mean, mean nothing to you? Please. This is the time. We're calling for justice for Justina. And we are going to work towards it. You people should do something. You must do something. And I want every one of us, please, let's come together. Nothing is going to happen to us. Nothing. How many of us do they want to kill? How many of us do they want to arrest? Nothing is going to happen to us. Let us stand for each other. Nigerians, let us speak for each other. Let us defend ourselves. Let us defend our fatherland. Please, this is what we need from every one of us. Once again, rest in peace, Justina. Rest in peace, Uwa. We will try and try and make sure that nothing but justice comes for your, for your death. Hi, good afternoon, fellow Nigerians. Yes, my name is Adito, and I'm here to ask a few questions from our honorable leaders. And it's about this new law that is all over the city and... I'm just beginning to wonder if we are living in this country and our blood is being milked dry or we are living in this country for survival or we are living in this country in pain. A few days ago, when we first got this message, we thought it was a joke. We tried to do all forms of verification. We confirmed some. Um... I've been to your page, we've tried to reach out to you, we've tried to call, we've tried to reach out to the necessary people, but unfortunately it's not been possible. Please, Nigerian Postal Services, Nai Post, we are here for you today. Suddenly you people woke up and then you reinvented Nai Post that was long dead. And now we hear that Nai Post is alive with the wings flying again. Congratulations to you people. 
But now we have a problem. Out of the blues, people have been asked to pay 200000 and 20000 to renew their license that they are using for Okada, which is delivery business. That is the normal thing we all call it, the dispatch riders. So an individual who has one bike and is using to manage his family and is being requested to pay 200000 now, please, we need some clarification. Yes, it is very important that we need regulatory bodies that would help us and support us. But at the detriment of who? Is it, are we supposed to still pay for all these kind of things? Are we supposed to pay same charges like corporate bodies are paying? If DHL is being charged 200000 is understandable. A one man with six children doing delivery business or a one business person who is using the delivery bike to make sure his or her services is um, a, a little bit more efficient and faster. Is that person supposed to pay 200000 Please, Nipos, we want you to come out and clarify this because we don't want to feel that this is a decision that you took without prior notice, not even in this period where the, the global economy is in shambles and people are, the government is still trying to help their own citizens. Unfortunately, we don't have anybody to help us. We are still strong as blacks that we are. We are still hopeful as Nigerians that we are. And now a government parastata comes out and says that Nigerians should come and pay 200000 and 20000 to renew their bike. Please, is it Nipos that is going to deliver the goods for them? Or you are going to give them new bikes and new documents? Or which paperwork do you people want to do that will cover 200000 and 20000 Because Nipos, we hear that two people have reinvented. You send money. You have reinvented. You post letters. Yes, letters and money is understandable. Those are parcels. So when did Nipos get involved in carrying bags and baggages that will now warrant people to pay 200,000 and 20,000 naira. Please, before we take this a step further, we will appreciate, because I've been to your website, I've been to your Instagram page, and we are going to tag you. We will appreciate if you respect our own individual feelings too, and come out publicly to tell us what this 200,000 and 20,000 is supposed to be for so that we can both look at it and let's see whether this is the right time and let's see where we want to get this money from because we cannot be living hard life as citizens not getting anything from government and the little effort we are putting in some parasitas will now throw out some people outside and tell you that they are doing monitoring, regulatory, seizing bikes, harassing bike riders, and all of that, because all of a sudden, somebody is supposed to pay 200000 and within one week or one month, that person has not been able to pay that 200000 then they start to seize their bike, and they start to harass them, as usual. Please, organize post. Ben, ba wa, e bo de. E ni re ba organize post yo, e jo, ni Nigeria and I'm sure that whoever you are, you must have been in government before. You are in this our same country. You are feeling our pain. You are seeing what is going on. You are seeing that there is nothing anywhere. Everybody is just managing. So, where we want to get the 200,000 from? Please. Can I let understand this all? Or, hey, only tomorrow. So that when you explain to us, we can reason that, okay, this makes some common sense, not uncommon and gerontocrat sense. Because the way the government of this country is being run, is like the gerontocrats there don't understand that youths that are supposed to be where they are, are really, really struggling. They are not looking at their positions anymore. They are just struggling to make ends meet. So please, we'll be expecting to hear from you, Nipost. You need to come and tell us what this 220,000 Naira is for. We have seen your Instagram page. You are active. You post all sorts there when you were sharing uh, COVID with Bako Rice, Bako Bag. You posted it. So please, just come on. Tet a tet communication with us will show that at least you regard us and you understand our feeling and you also understand the reason why we should open our mouth wide and ask such questions. Thank you in anticipation.